Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the AD12612. Now this is a power supply that's for use with the Honeywell Vista systems. Um, technically you could use it on pretty much any system out there, uh, but essentially it is a secondary power source for modules. So if you have, uh, for example, a system that has a lot of zone expanders and a lot of keypads, you'll have to use one or more of these to provide power to the modules that the system board can't power on its own. This module is pretty straightforward. Um, there's only four wiring terminals that you have to worry about, uh, but there is a little bit of a caveat to basically how you have to wire it so that the panel can supervise the devices that you have attached to it. So we're just gonna go over the uh, wiring for this real quick and explain how it works. Um, the only other thing you have to worry about is a jumper over here that determines whether or not this unit is set for 12 volt output or 6 volt output. By default, it should be set to 12 volt out of the factory, so you just kind of got to double check and make sure that it's set to 12 volt. If it is set to 6 volt, it won't power your devices. So basically, I just have a Honeywell main board here I took out of the cabinet so it'll be a little bit easier for us to see and then uh, I got a keypad over here that we're going to connect to it and I'm going to show you guys how you would power that keypad if you were going to use it, this power supply module. So if you uh, happen to need extra power for your Honeywell or another system that uh, you think this would work with, by all means, check us out at alarmsystemstore.com. We have these. Uh, we also have a kit that this comes in that has a cabinet, a battery, transformer, everything you need to get it up and running. So I'm going to move the camera over here and we'll take a look at how you wire this thing up. All right, so here we are. Um, got the power supply module right here. Got our main board. Um, I also have an additional wire because we are gonna need that. And then I have the keypad that we're gonna be hooking up and it has the wire attached already. So um, real quick, I'll show you that jumper that I was talking about. So it is right here. So as you can see, it's got a 12 volt and then a six volt marking. Just make sure that the jumper is on the two pins closest to the 12 volt marking and you're good to go. Like I said, it should come like that out of the box. Just double check to make sure that it is set properly. So on this module, like I said, you have four wire terminals. Right here, you have the AC transformer terminals and then you have a DC positive and negative output set of terminals. So I'll show those real quick. So the two on the left are the AC terminals and the two on the right are the DC output terminals. So as I mentioned, you will need a transformer and a battery with this. Um, we're not using batteries today since I'm just doing a little demo, but we do have to hook up transformers so that I can show you guys how to power it. So we will need a transformer for the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up. And then we will also need a transformer for the power supply. And that is going to attach to the AC terminals here. All right, so there is our AC power hooked up. And essentially, whenever you go to attach a module to this power supply, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the two power wires that would normally connect to the core bus of the system, and you move those two wires over to the power supply. So every module you're gonna connect to a Honeywell Vista is going to have a red, black, yellow, and a green wire. The red and black are your power wires. So what you do, you just transfer the red and black from the system over to this power supply module. So in the case of our keypad here, essentially all we need to do is we need to hook up the red and black wires to the DC positive and negative. Red is gonna be your DC positive and then black is gonna be your DC negative. Now your yellow and green wires, those do still need to connect to the panel. So any module you have powered using this power supply is basically gonna have split wiring like this. In some cases, it might be easier to use uh, two different wires. So basically uh, have a two wire strand going for your data cables, the yellow and green, and then have a set for the red and black for your power. But if you have 
Um, this module, or the power supply, put in the main cabinet, if you have enough space to do that, then you can basically do what I've done here, just use a four wire pair and split it where the yellow and green are going to the system, the red and black are going to the power supply. And that's literally all you have to do to get this module to power additional devices. However, there is one additional wire that you have to use. Whenever you're using this power supply, because it doesn't actually connect to the system in any way, you have to connect the grounds between the power supply and the main board, or else the system won't be able to properly supervise the modules that you attach to it. So essentially, um, I'm using a little bit too much wire here, but you need one wire that is going to run from the DC negative of your power supply up to the number four terminal on your main board. Now you only need one of these wires, no matter how many modules you're powering using this power supply. So once you have that set up like this, um, I know that's kind of hard to see, it's a little messy, uh, but essentially, um, whenever you have your power wires from your module connected to the power supply, and you have that single black wire connecting the ground of the power supply to the system, then you're good to go. So now, whenever we power these transformers up, this keypad's just gonna come up, and this one is already addressed to the system, so it should just take right off. Um, essentially, uh, once it's being powered by that power supply, it's just gonna use power from that rather than taking any of the available milliamps off of the main system. So, Honeywell systems come up with 600 milliamps standard on the main board. So that's how much they can supply to everything you can connect to it outside of the bell circuit. That's always separate. Don't worry, don't consider that in your calculations. But whenever you're picking out modules such as keypads, zone expanders, relay modules, those all have a specific milliamp draw that they're going to pull from whatever device they're getting power from. So if you go over that 600 milliamps, basically it's not going to be able to handle all that, so certain devices will shut down. Regardless of the situation, if you need additional power, this is the simplest module to use. Like I said, this is um, pretty much a universal power supply. I personally don't know of any systems that it doesn't work with. Um, that doesn't mean there aren't any out there, so don't quote me on that. But essentially, if you need an additional power supply for your system, you can use this AD12612. Basically set yourself up with an additional amp of power that you can provide to modules. So if you wanted to set yourself up with a house with five or six keypads, um, you're welcome to do that. You would definitely need one of these modules, possibly two, depending on what else you got on the system, but that's how you would do it. So real quick, I wanted to give you a more close up visual of what the wiring looks like. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well from there. But essentially we have our four wire connection coming from our keypad right here. You got our red and the black running to the DC positive and negative on the, this power supply. The yellow and green from your module go to terminals six and seven on your main board. And then you have to have that one black jumper wire going from the DC negative output to terminal number four on your system. So take a look at it there. So hopefully any of you out there that might be trying to use this AD12612 to provide additional power to modules, if you do have any issues with it whatsoever, uh, nine times out of 10, it's this ground cable because it is explained in the manual, but it's not super detailed. Um, so it might get missed. So make sure you do that. Uh, make sure your dip switch or your jumper is set to 12 volt instead of six volt. And it's literally that simple. Just power your devices um, using this power supply. And like I said, um, if you guys do need one of these, uh, we have this module standalone on our website, alarmsystemstore.com. And we also have that kit that I mentioned, which comes with an extra cabinet, comes with a transformer and the battery that you're going to need to run this thing. So uh, that's going to do it for me on this video though. If you guys are on YouTube, give us a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next one.